Hello everyone, this is Lynn Palermo from the Armchair Genealogist and today we're going to take another look at Scrivener for the Family History Writer. Today's video is going to feature the tool Snapshot. Snapshot is an opportunity for you to save a version of your documents in the manuscript that you are creating in Scrivener. Perhaps you're writing your manuscript and you're working on a particular scene and you've decided that you know it's not quite working for you and you want to scrap it and start over but just in case your new version doesn't work either you want to save a snapshot of this particular scene so it's very simple to do we go up here to documents and we have snapshots here and we have two options take a snapshot and take a snapshot with the title Let's take a snapshot with the title. And really I recommend this because you want to be able to um, differentiate one snapshot from an, another. So um, giving it a title will allow you to do this. And I'm just gonna put in here, you know, before train station. All right, and we just click okay. And did you hear that camera go off? You hear the little shutter open and close, and that tells us that our picture has been taken. Now, if we go over here into the inspector, and if you look down here, you'll see a little camera down here with a little asterisk, and that tells us that there are snapshots. And if we click on it, this opens up our snapshot view, and it shows us the various snapshots that we have taken. So for instance, this is the last one we just did. And when we click on it, you will see the actual version of the manuscript that you have written, this part of the document. Okay. Now, this gives us an opportunity to be able to compare it to the new version that you are writing. You can copy from it, so you could highlight certain parts that you feel that were, were great and you want to use them over again. You can copy and you can paste them into the new version you are writing. Or if you decide that you preferred the earlier version, then just simply click on roll back and you can revert back to the, to the snapshot version. Very, very simple. Now there's a couple of other ways that you can take, take a snapshot. If we go back to documents again and we just do take a snapshot without the title, you heard the camera again, and here's our new snapshot and you can see it gives us an untitled snapshot. Double click on that and now you can put your title in. So you always have that opportunity to put a title in. The other way to add a snapshot is quickly up here to the little plus button, click on it. It takes an immediate picture of the scene that you have on your page. Again, there it is, click on it and give it a title. Now perhaps you've decided we don't need these, I'm not gonna keep them. Simply hit the minus button and they disappear. Now the other thing that you can do with Snapshot, it's pros you want to be able to um, add a little more detail as to um, what this scene was about or why you wanted to change it. Um, so let's just, you can do a little inline annotation here and just put um, arrival um, before train station to Canada and you, and you can write in here as much as you want you could put a whole paragraph as much explanation as you feel is required in order to help you to differentiate one um, snapshot version of your document against another if we take this picture now of it and we open that up and down here and you will see there is your inline annotation. So that will help you to, again, another tool to differentiate one snapshot from the other. Um, also up here you have obviously the different titles that you can give it in order to help understand um, and sort out which ones are which, but you also have the dates and times that help you to sort out one from the other. So Snapshot can be a, a great little tool to help you save a version of your documents so that if you decide to revert back to them at another time, then that's available to you. So this has been um, Snapshots on the Scrivener Software Writing Program. I hope you uh, find this tool of use to you in your writing for family history. This has been Lynn Palermo from the Armchair Genealogist.